Hello everyone! In this video, I am going to discuss to you the properties of water and the well-known water cycle. In plumbing, it is necessary that we understand the properties of water since these are essential considerations in our plumbing design. But first, let's define water. Water is a name given to the liquid compound of two hydrogen molecules and one oxygen molecule. This best known as H2O. It is tasteless and odorless in a pure state. It has a boiling temperature of 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit under standard atmospheric pressure which is 14.7 pound per square inch or 101 kilopascal. The freezing point of water is at 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit in English unit. While the specific weight or the mass density of water is 1 kg per liter, 1000 kg per cubic meters or 62.4 pound per cubic foot and that is in English unit. While the specific gravity is 1. When we say mass density, it is the weight of liquid per unit volume while specific gravity defines as the ratio of density of a substance to the density of a standard liquid. Usually, we use water as a standard liquid in computing for the specific gravity. Water is the basic element of nature. It covers 70% of the earth's surface, it provides life, and helps us in dealing with our day-to-day -day activities. Water needs to be replenished purified, circulated again and again so that it can perform its function. Nature does this job through a process called the water cycle. Hence, it is important to understand and learn the process of water cycle or also known as the hydrologic cycle. Bear in mind that since this is a cyclic process, we can't really make sure as to where the hydrologic process begins. But for this discussion's sake, let's begin with the evaporation. Evaporation, it is a process where water at the surface turns into gas through heat energy from the sun. As water vaporizes into water vapor, it rises up in the atmosphere and changes into very tiny particles of ice or water droplets. This process is called condensation. Then the water poured down as precipitation due to the wind or temperature change. As water precipitates, some of it is absorbed by soil in a process called infiltration. The water seeps down and increases the level of groundwater table and runs to streams, lake, and other bodies of water in a process called percolation. Some of it is also absorbed by plants. The water absorbed by plants vaporizes to the atmosphere through the process known as transpiration. Water also flows to the streams, lakes, seas in the process known as runoff. And that goes back to the evaporation process. Again, this is a cyclic process, therefore, this process is continuous or unending. And that ends this module. I hope that you have learned something. Thank you for listening.